Today, we're going to talk about how to get a guy to notice you on a dating app. Not so easy to do these days. You know, one of our clients just used one of these tips, just one of the little tips I'm going to give you to find her forever love after decades of being alone. It's that powerful. I'll also include the key questions I've never discussed before uh, about how to get a really great guy interested in you. Hi, again, I'm Dr. Diana Kirshner. So thrilled to be with you. Uh, now, on to how to get a guy to notice you on a dating app. First of all, I must say you have to have a fantastic photo. Um, it has to be a fantastic photo. Uh, that means that you're looking into the camera, smiling fully. Oh, I see my little assistant video blogger has come to help me. Yes, this is Amara. You want to be looking into the camera, smiling full on, you know, with a smoke, you know, I want to see that twinkle in your eye. I want to, you looking right through the camera, connecting to the person. With moderate makeup, research shows that moderate makeup is very attractive to guys. I'm wearing a red scoop top. That would be awesome, showing a little bit of skin. Uh, guys are very, very, very visual. So that is very important. Your photo is very important. Have a friend take 100 photos just to get the right one or go to a professional photographer who can make you look natural. That's number one. Your photo has to really pop. It really has to pop and play with that. Even if you think you take bad photos, go ahead and just fool around, play, try to take a bad photo <laughs> and then relax, get yourself to relax and you'll find that uh, you can get a good photo. Um, and let's uh, now on to how to get a guy to notice you on a dating app. Let's start with how to initiate conversation on Bumble. Now, a GIF is the number one best icebreaker on Bumble. And you want to make it funny and flirty. You know, for example, a GIF of Jennifer Aniston, where you say, hey, Jennifer, let the cat out of the bag about your awesomeness. <laughs> so, you know, there's this flirtiness, this warmth. Um, look around for some GIFs. Play with GIFs. They're very, very powerful. Uh, find a unique one. Find a funny one. And then you can say something like, hey, this one's for you, Mr. Handsome. Again, with this kind of flirty, warm, validating way about you. In addition to gifts, you can ask a funny question like, do you have a power animal? Or do you like pineapple on your pizza? Or if you had a warning label, what would yours say? <laughs> or what would you do if you won the lottery? Well, you know, this, these are intriguing questions. He's going to answer them, and you'll learn a lot about him in the way he answers uh, because uh, he's going to just tell you about himself, right? Um, how, you know, what, what's important to him? Like if he won the lottery, what would he do? You know, travel, buy a house, you know, we don't know, save the world. Um, uh, and also, when you do this kind of funny, questioning, it differentiates you from all the other women out there. It makes you that much more interesting. You're just much more interesting than the other, uh, the other women. Uh, these are the kinds of funny questions that our client used to attract a wonderful guy. I mean, a wonderful guy, a lawyer who could have had his pick of any number of women. And he was so attracted by her playfulness. He just was smitten by her playfulness and her beautiful photo. And uh, the rest is history. They're now very happily engaged. Now on how to get a guy to notice you on uh, other dating apps like Tinder. Uh, at the very start of the conversation, it's a game changer to throw out three questions, two real ones and one funny one to lighten things up. One question is OK, but two to three with a fun one really gets the conversation more interesting and memorable. So something like, hey, Joe, I'm intrigued about you. I'd love to know more about you. For example, where did you grow up? What kind of work do you do? And most importantly, what's your ultimate guilty pleasure or your ultimate, your favorite candy or your favorite movie of all time or your secret talent or what's the most spontaneous thing you've ever done? You get the idea. So that third question is going to be kind of funny and quirky funny and quirky. And I will put these in the notes down below. 
And while you're looking down there, appreciate it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel and, and hit the little bell so you get notified when uh, the new videos come out. So here's the important part. You can interview someone while you're messaging them, right? You can even mix in questions about kids or what, you know, what they want in life, uh, family life, if they want a family life. And it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal because what this does is it sets you up as the high value decider, as the chooser. It's like you're interviewing him to see if he fits the mold, if he's good enough. And men love high value women, women who feel like they're high value. You want to pay very close attention to how he answers, you know? If he looks like a good person and appears to have his life together, uh, continue to communicate for fun and see if he emerges as a good candidate. Uh, I especially recommend this if you don't have that many guys that you're dating, uh, you know, it'll just keep your energy up flirting with someone there. Um, even if it's not a serious candidate, this guy turns out to not be a serious candidate, um, give them a little time and see, see what happens. You know, sometimes they stay up uh, or step up rather. They sometimes step up and become really interesting and, and real possibilities. You can usually tell after a few message exchanges. So it's, it's fantastic. You're doing an interview. They usually see these kinds of questions as a fun game. And also like they kind of need to pass a test, you know, and it's, it's kind of fun that way. And once again, that sets you up as the high value decider, as the chooser. Now, one key thing that will help you avoid wasting your value to, valuable time with duds, that is definitely unworkable dudes. If they ask you out really quickly, like let's get together, you know, uh, also use the three questions <clears throat> because you don't want to just go meet anyone. You just don't. Instead, uh, message back, I'd love to meet Joe. I just need to know a few more details about you first, you know, and then add in your questions, right? Your two serious questions and your third fun one. Um, you know, you can even go into a silly hypothetical route, like do you take pineapple on your pizza or, um, you know, uh, what's something I would never guess about you? Um, one thing you can do is go on Google and Google fun get to know you questions. Just Google fun get to know you questions and you'll find all kinds of interesting questions. But the bottom line is that this makes you different from the average woman who is just asking the same old how was your day question, right? Although occasionally you can put those in too. So let me just give you a few more fun questions. Um, what's the funniest? or most disappointing or weirdest text you've ever gotten, <laughs> can ask him. Or what's the funniest place you've ever fallen asleep? Or if you could talk to one species or of animal, what would it be, right? <laughs> so you see you're engaging, you're, you're pulling for engagement, you feel, you're pulling for fun. And um, so instantly he's going to respond. If he's going to be in the running, he's going to find it amusing and respond to you and notice you big time because you're going to be standing out from everyone else. So if you're wondering how to get a guy to notice you in a dating app, follow these steps. Make sure you get a great photo of yourself. Use some gifts and use some real questions uh, that you ask him along with some funny questions. You know, Ultimately, the best candidates will respond playfully. They'll give you more information about themselves up front. You know, you want a guy who has it going on. We don't want any uptight guys or emotionally unavailable guys who are just dipping their toes into the dating waters, right? So that's it. Um, I will uh, add uh, down below uh, some of my suggestions, my messages. Uh, that you can take and use, and I know you can be successful with this and get great, great guys to notice you on dating apps. Lots of love.